Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Going on, it's Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's God's day. The day we pray to God that he's about to cash. Just playing with you. Going, uh, I got two games on the slate. We're going to do them pretty quick. Getting to it kind of early. It's only 9.30 at night. Shit takes a while. It's crazy. You wouldn't believe how much time goes into making these videos and making my thumbnails and all that shit. But, uh... Another, another three and two day, third day in a row, positive. Uh, nothing crazy, but it ended up in the greens better than ended up in the red, right? All right, first up, going Alicia Gray, points 14 and a half over, minus 124. I actually played this a couple hours ago. Uh, for some reason, I just think it's too low. I know that she's playing against... Uh, Connecticut got a great defense, first and points allowed. Uh, guard position first. They get worse at the center, but other than that, they got a good defense. Um, I just think that I was mad I didn't play her last game when she played Seattle. I laid off it because I was batting her all these games and then she must have got tired. She's an older player, and she just wasn't doing that good. So I laid off her. So when she came back from break, I still laid off it. Um, and she looked good. She looked well-rested. Uh, she wasn't shooting nothing crazy, but she shoot 47%, which is good. 7.15. But um, I'm hoping she gets back into her rhythm, and 14 and a half is just going to be too low. She's a 17, so as you say, 17, 19, 20 point a game player. So, uh, I'm rock with it. It's not many. I mean, there's a couple of scores on the team, but it's, it's not many. They all score around that 10, 12 points, a couple of them. But, uh, yeah, lean with it, rock with it. Lisa Gray, points 14 and a half. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, next up, Marina Mabry, right back to it. Points 13 and a half, minus 104. Uh, Karen Tim might be back. She probably play some personal. I don't really know what's going on. But uh, maybe he's a baller. See what she, if you want, <coughs> excuse me, if you watch, you see what she did the other day. Uh, Plays good with the team. Um, shoots the ball well. Last four games, she's cleared this. Um, thing is, last 20 games, 55% hit rate. Last five, 80. Last 10, 60. Head to head with her old team when she was on Sky. She didn't clear this at all versus uh, Atlanta. Could be the team. Uh, the whole Chicago team wasn't that great. But she did shoot really bad those games. But I'm not taking that into effect. I think she, uh, she's got a lot to prove. I think she could be a key piece on this uh, Connecticut team. Helped them get a little further in the playoffs. No one taking down my liberty, though. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. But, uh, yeah, I'm rocking with it again until she proves me wrong. Uh, checked out. I got this other site I check out. It's called Props Madness. It shows shot charts. They also show players that play like her in her position. And when this is all green on top, it's usually a good thing. It says average points. Average point difference and hit rate, 63% players. 
So I Kelsey Mitchell, uh, Atkins, Plum, stuff like that. I just like to look at it for this. It shows how to play it, basically to play a shot chart, where they like to shoot from percentage-wise. And it shows how the, the other team plays defense in those spots. It's Morocco, like I said. Uh, let's see some. This last five games, she's been shooting really well. She hit that three ball. I said that the other day. She could drop that three. She could drive. She could hit mid range. She got some ball handling skills. She hit four out of the last five. 52. The last five games, she's shooting 52% from three, 43% from the field. What I did was, as I placed all these bets, I had like. $15 left to my account, which is about a half unit for me. So uh, I dropped it on the threes. We seen what she did yes, uh, two days ago. She hit three. She also played this four out of the last five. So if you're looking for something to mess around with, some plus money play, you know, might be a little harder to hit than her points. Uh, you know, I'm a guarantee her points, but I dropped a little sprinkle on this. Get a little bonus. But, uh, yeah, maybe 13 and a half points. Till that number goes up to 16, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it every time. You're going to see it. She's going to catch it to watch. All right, maybe 13 and a half points over. Let's get it. All right, next up, I'm going uh, Alyssa Thomas, assist over 7.5, minus 112, FanDuel. I don't know what's going on with DraftKings. They are uh, really dropping lines until, like, right before the game. Uh, 14 assists last game. Playing, it's all the same game. They're playing Atlanta. Uh, the eighth in assists overall to the forward position. They rank tenth. It gets worse. And Thomas is a assist machine. Um, seven point seven seven and a half point spread. Hoping it doesn't turn into a blowout. But uh, even if it does, as long as she gets to play. And, up until that fourth quarter, she should go over this. Um, she doesn't do that well scoring against them. In the last two games. I mean, she does all right, but she had seven, 14, eight. So I just figured, uh, come on, we'll go back to assists. She's not scoring. She don't really score that much anyway, 10, 12 points a game. But if she's not scoring, she's going to be uh, dropping them dimes, passing that rock. She played it, she played it three times this year. She had 11, 8, and 9. So... Rocking with it. She's an assist machine. Thomas assists over seven and a half. Let's get it. Going with Dwana Bonner. Points over 17 and a half. Minus 110 FanDuel. Uh, played her for a, a while throughout the year. And then she started shooting bad. I lay off her. I like the way she looked last game. Uh, Good game versus Dallas, 29 points. Uh, she's around a 20, 22, 25 point, you know, 18, around there. But uh, points a game, I mean, last five games, she's shooting real well. I mean, they just came back from the break, but 50% from the field, 54% from three, 90% from the foul line. She's uh, actually married to Thomas on the team there. 
sort of got good chemistry as it is. Um, veteran, been in the league many years. Um, head to head, they've played three times this year. She's cleared it twice. 18 points, 16, and then 23 points. So uh, she's good for at least two threes a game, usually, sometimes more. But uh, Atlanta's ranked fifth overall in points. In uh, points defense to the forward position, they rank eighth, so they get worse. She's kind of a guard or a forward, but... Uh, Yeah, so hopefully, uh, like I said before, it won't be a blowout. It's only a seven-point spread. And uh, all these players get their points. Get in and get out. Let's get it. Fun. It's for the second game. Uh, Seattle versus Indiana. Going Joe Lloyd. Points over 19 and a half, minus 145. FanDuel. They got her line at 20 and a half, minus 115. I uh, was able to all line it back. For I've said this before, but if you're new here, for what I bet, it's a two, three dollar difference. Uh, you know, the years I've been doing this, you hook all the time. I'd rather all line it back whenever I can. Uh, Indiana's 11th in points allowed to the guard position. They're worse. They're ranked 12th, which is last place. Drew Lloyd is, you know, she's a baller. Last five games, 60% hit rate. Last 20, 55 for the year, 54. First game back, she just had 21 versus Atlanta. Um... Last 10 games, shooting 40% from the field. She's not really a three-point shooter. 30% from three. About 90 from the foul line. Head-to-head, head-to-head. There's just a lot of plays I wasn't real comfortable with. I don't really like when there's two games that I'm not uh, my go-to players. You know what I mean? Head-to-head head every time they play this year, she's killed them. 32, 22, 34. So, four goes well. Should be easy cash. Uh, yeah, so them in the five, I'm rocking with. Might be six if you add that little three-pointer in there for for Mabry. Um, if you could like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, Turn the notifications on so we get my plays. Once we get into NBA, NFL first, obviously, uh, I'll be able to get my live bets, stuff like that. Uh, anything I do, I try to be as transparent as possible. That's where you get it too. So uh, let's go for a four day hot streak. Let's keep it moving. Ace money to name, get paper to game. Let's go. <laughs>